Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. All right, y'all, what's going on? What are y'all doing to keep yourself safe? Because y'all know this shit real. It is real out there. Please stay away from one another. I now have a family member who had to get tested. They work in the health field. And they gave them three to five days to get their test results back. Okay? All right. And as if, if, as if that's not heavy enough, you know, my mom's baby sister passed away. She didn't have the coronavirus. She died in her sleep. Thank God it was peaceful. But it brings another nuance and another whole set of different emotions and um, problems. Because my mom is the last soldier standing now. She's the last one out of all her siblings still alive. And um, so uh, as I sat down and, you know, hugged her and talked with her yesterday, um, I could feel the effects of how that feels. And so <laughs> there's a song that says, I pray for you. And you pray for me. We're all a part of God's family. Right? Y'all remember that? And those words could not mean and be so prophetic for me right now. Y'all continue to pray for one another. And continue to stay safe. Follow the mandates. Because y'all know when I, like I tell, like I always say, when black people... When white people have a cold, black people have pneumonia. It's the best way to describe the differences. No. Um, and I want to share this article with you because um, this is it's, it's coming. It's alive. It's this. This is no joke. Um. Let me let me share this article. Matter of fact, no, I tell you what, this is what's happening in Milwaukee, and I possibly can get this to play. Y'all listen to this. There are more cases of coronavirus on Milwaukee's north side compared with the rest of the county. CBS 58 Shirley Des Corbath joins us live now with a look at what the health department plans to do to slow the spread. Shirley. Well, the city of Milwaukee Health Department says positive COVID-19 cases are happening at an alarming rate. A large number of them are on the north side and the African-American community. According to data on the Milwaukee County COVID-19 dashboard, more than 250 people in the city have been infected with the contagious respiratory virus so far. Majority of them are on the city's north side, a predominantly black area. At least right now, it has hit the central city, the northern part of the city, um, harder. Officials say it's also impacting middle-aged black men the most. All four coronavirus deaths in the city were black men in their 50s and 60s. They say people aren't heeding the warnings and continue to gather in groups. The more distance that you have between individuals, the less likely we are to transmit this disease. So now the health department is partnering with the CDC to get the message out through PSAs. Part of that prevention, again, is promoting basic hygiene, social distancing, uh, as well as uh, abiding by the safe at home or stay at home order. Officials also say the number of positive cases are underestimated because of limits on testing. Y'all hearing this? Alderman Khalif Rainey sent a letter to Ascension Healthcare asking them to provide free COVID-19 testing at St. Joseph's Hospital located on the north side. He says in part, this pandemic cannot become a death sentence for the poor and uninsured. Oh, it is. Live in Milwaukee, Shirley DeScorbath, CBS 58 News. Shirley, thank you. Oh, it is. And don't you think for one minute that it's not. It's a death sentence for the poor and the under and no insured. These are the communities that's going to get wiped out first. And I don't mean to sound cynical to y'all, but I, and I'm sure y'all know something is uh, in America is changing. 
Something has changed. If you don't know it, then you need to crawl from up under the rock that you've been up under. And understand that society is getting ready to over, uh, undergo a real big transformation. It has done it before. And it's going to continue. How many of us going to survive? What's that old song? Um, staple singers used to sing. Uh, uh, Who shall be able to stand? Well, people will be running on that great day. People will be running on that great day. People will be running on that great day. Who shall be able to stand? Y'all remember that? A lot of y'all do. <laughs> but that's what the staple singers used to sing. But that's what it's going to get down to. Who shall be able to stand? Who going to be smart? A lot of us going to get wiped out. You might as well come to the realization of that. A lot of us are not going to make it on the other side. It could be me. I hope to God it ain't. Because I got a lot more life in me. But if I don't stay safe and if I don't be vigilant and don't wash my hands and wash my face and stay away and uh, and try to uh, keep up with the um, guidelines that the uh, CDC and the health departments make then it could be me. Look at Leonard Wells. He's the epitome of health. Uh, anyway. Please be safe. Those of y'all who know what I'm talking about, please share your opinion. Uh, y'all, you know, one thing I like to say about my subscribers because y'all pretty informative and I love it. It's y'all some... <laughs> Y'all cause me to think, and I love when you share your opinions and ideas because when they grasp it, uh, you know, and then another thing, let me just say this. A lot of times, you know, it's really good, though. I guess the protocol is when y'all see somebody that says something, a comment, make it to them. Don't say it to me or, or say it to me in the email. Um, some of the comments that, you know, we get, you know, I see a lot of people may address me, but they don't address the comment itself. That's why I got reply on there. But but y'all got a lot of good comments. And, and I don't know if anybody is suffering right now or knowing anybody that's going through this COVID-19 craziness. Please share your story, how you getting through it, what you're doing. Um, remember, we talked about the taste and the smell. If you lose uh, any of those or they seem to be diminishing, that could be an early sign that... You got uh, something is about to happen, you know, because in a lot of cases, there are no symptoms at all, okay? You just test positive. So I don't know what the hell going on. And if anybody out there knows something else, please share it with us because we're all connected, you know? And I'm praying for you, and I hope you're praying for me. And my family is going through some challenges right now. And I'm sure as all other family and then when you have death involved in it now so now we got to worry about this and you know like I said they're gonna postpone the funeral so what if people are gonna be cremated I guess because we can't gather for the funeral uh, just a lot going on right now y'all so share your thoughts those of y'all that are out there that those of y'all that know something I'll be glad to hear from you and God bless you and be safe and keep your baby safe and can protect your dome. You know, try not to let your anxiety levels go up too high. Okay? Because number 45 and I brought it to y'all ass. He pulled it. He pulled it. He pulled it. He pulled it. Damn. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>